working back up to Pisces and going backwards again. <clears throat> okay, so shuffle once before. Maybe forming alliances with like minded individuals. <laughs> Sometimes something again and again and again and again and again. Something, 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 something. What do we got in the um? Mm, what's in the soul cycle uh, schedule for uh, Pisces there, Holy Spirit? Would you link me into the? Soul cycle of Pisces. <clears throat> something, something again, something, something, and it's a something. <laughs> it's going to light foot, by the way. Something and something again, and even something that's later on. Something and something again. Link me into the soul spike of uh, Isis or Holy Spirit. Uh oh. This happened for a reason. I reversed this deck. I'm gonna flip it back up. I wanna see if this is. Oh no, it's already reversed. Okay. I have to deal with it. It's the way it goes. The way she goes, as Ricky's dad says. Sometimes she goes. Sometimes she goes. Today she just goed. She goed already. Okay, so bottom of the deck, we got to lie. I'm sorry, Pisces. This doesn't happen, but when it does happen on Tony Towers, it fucking happens for a reason. <laughs> Something might be a little amiss. Obviously it is. Let's see here. Okay, these two. Okay. Yeah, that's normal. This is you. This is you doing harmonious change, going through a harmonious change. The Queen of Cups, which is you, I believe. And uh, the Lord of Harmonious Change, which is this. And there's two wheels there, and they're spinning harmoniously. Okay? So you're, you're, this is the heart of the situation. So this is most likely what's good, what happening. Could be present, could be future, could be past. Only you know your story, right, Pisces? It's going to be different for all of you, because you know, you're all in different timelines, right? So that's the heart of the situation. Uh, what do we got in the challenge position for our Pisces, our Piscinians? Is that how you say that? Piscinians? Our Piscinians. Oh, yeah, the fishbowl. I know you hate it when I do that, but that's how I let you guys know I'm coming. And I gotta feed the fish. It's my turn to feed the fish in the fishbowl here on Tony Towers Tarot. So, what do we got in the challenge position? Holy Spirit. Okay, in the challenge position, you've got a uh, King of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with uh, uh, Earth sign. Definitely an Earth sign. Prince of the Chariots of the Earth. Okay, so this guy's like, a, he could be in the agriculture. He could be a little temperamental. Or he may look like he's temperamental. Like, look at his, because everybody looks at his bull. They don't even see him. They always see the bull and they're like, fuck, I'm going to stay away from that crazy motherfucker. Because look at this bull, it's going to like, he just wants to give somebody the horn, right? So, but if they ever get past the bull and realize that this guy controls the bull, so the bull's not going to do anything unless Lanny McDonald tells him to, right? So, as long as Lanny McDonald's back there chilling on the fatty with his cool mustache and his 16 third eyes coming out of his forehead there. Ah... Uh, yeah, things should be fine. But like I say, not everybody likes to get close to that bull. What do we got in the um the subconsciously? What are you thinking of, Pisces? Uh, we 
you've got the... Okay, somebody found the G-spot. Okay, so you found the G-spot. Is what, is what you're thinking of subconsciously. You're thinking about the G-spot. So, the Lord of Perfected work. See how he's got the perfect rotation with his uh, on the sugar plum. He, right now, he's just perfected it, right? But sooner, he'll even perfect it more, and he'll learn how to use only one thumb. So... I'm not gonna go into that though. This is like what well, you subconsciously you're thinking that you perfected something. Something you perfected. What do we got in the um pass? How the fuck do we get here, prices? How the fuck do we get here? With all this reverse deck that seems to be working out good though. It's not fuck I, as fucked up as I thought it would be. <sighs> okay. The Knight of Pentacles in the past. So you were moving slow. You were this knight. The Knight of Pentacles, he gets to where he's going always, but he likes bushwhacking. And see right here, his horse is like, uh, you can tell this time his horse took the mushrooms, and he took some other weird fucking, he was licking frog's balls, okay? Because he found out these weird frogs that are like bright red with yellow, like stripes down their back, that if you lick their balls, they have quite an effect. And he did that. So he's out there, his horse isn't even fucking moving. And he's swatting around. He thinks they're going like 90 kilometers an hour down the fucking highway, right? Meanwhile, he's just swatting at imaginary shit that's not even there, so. But he will eventually get there, so. you. Are, I'm taking it that you finally showed up at the place. You probably, your pupils are wider than, uh, what you would call it, uh. You can't even see the color of your eyes, that's all. And they're like... They're, they're almost like afraid to open the door when you get there, but whatever. They were, were they were expecting you. It's just that they're, they're, you're not in your normal self that they know you, right? They'll have to get to know you this way because whenever you go bushwhacking, this is what happens, right? Okay, what do we got in the um, present situation? The present situation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, holy, that's a lot of spirit. Okay, so presently, I'm thinking this is you. Or this could be you. No, this is you presently, I think. You're this high priestess, I'm thinking. Because you're very highly intuitive, Pisces. Like, you guys, nobody's ever disputed that. You guys are always high, highly in tune to it. Uh, to the other side, a lot of times, too. And just to your spirit guides and your angels or whatever you prescribe to. Um, and you got an empress here. Which could also be you. If this is you and you, I don't think it is. I think this is somebody you're dealing with. But, uh, because an empress can embody all four queens in the deck, right? But I think, you know what, this could be you too, Pisces. This could be you. This could both be you, presently. If you're dealing with somebody who's multi-talented, I would say that it's probably, you're, you're, I, I'm pretty sure you're the high priestess. And this other person's the empress. And maybe this empress will come in swiftly. But they both landed upright, and this whole deck is reversed. I still can't fucking believe that right now, because literally, this whole deck is, like, reversed. Like, there's some, like, I accidentally, like, shuffled them the wrong way. Look, like, they're all, every single one has come out upright so far, Pisces. So that's, that's amazing. That's really amazing, actually. <laughs> like, so, like, I've never, I've never died. Usually when I, when I reverse the deck, like, and fuck up like that, like, literally, like, everything comes out fucked up. I've never seen, this is, like, this is a first for me, yeah. Especially on Tony Tower's Tarot, but a first didn't do in Tarot. What do we have in the, um, the now watch of, of reverse don't go out, come out. What do we have in the future there for Pipe? Oh. Okay, this one come out blocked. But it wasn't reversed. It was like right dead on the line. This is Lord of Material Work. So your material work, maybe your alliances can be blocked right now by something. I'm going to pull on that. What's blocking uh, Pisces? <gasps> um, well, let's just call it um, networking skills. Okay? What's blocking your networking skills right now at this moment, Pisces? Okay, these two. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so the wheel looks like it's is also being blocked, maybe. No, I don't think it's that. The wheel of Fortune and Strength. So, Leo Energy. And this is Jupiter Energy. The Wheel of Fortune, so. Hmm. Six, seven, eight. So, 18. Okay, 18. This adds up to 18, because you got 10 here and you got 8, which is, uh, strength is 8 in this deck, right? So 18, to me, 
means spirit guides, man. 18 is like your angels, man. Your angels are blocking this, blocking your networks right now for some reason. That's kind of weird. Because, yeah, 8 and 10 add up to 18. And 18 to me is like, eight, I have a very significant history with 18 and like, uh, like 18 to me before a very life-changing point in my life, I was seeing 18, like, or 81, either one is, they mean the same thing, right, in the spirit world, right, but, um, 81, 18, uh, and, and, like, I was seeing it for three months before something happened, and it was because, literally, that was my ancestors warning me, and telling me, my, my spirit team, my, my angels were warning me that, that this something is coming. When you start seeing numbers like that, that means a life-changing event's gonna happen. So, be wary of that. Uh, okay, well, I'm just curious. 18 plus 3, what is that? 18, 21. Okay, so blackjack too, because if you add that 3, that blocked it. So why is, is your network being blocked? It's because of strength and the wheel of fortune. <sighs> so maybe you're, you're shutting some people out of your life, I'm thinking. Or, or being strong with them because uh, you know they might be after you for some money or, or some whatever your this fortune is speaking of. This is gonna be just a faded event too, which I'm thinking it is because when it adds up to 18, that means like uh, that's like 5D shit there, man. That's like Archangel Michael shit. Like when that's when I met Archangel Michael is when I seen 18, 18, 18, 81, 18, 81, 18, 81 every day for like three months straight before so something significant happened in my life. I've seen that over and over and over and over and over again, so. And I was like, what the fuck, am I going fucking nuts? Have I finally smoked myself fucking retarded or like, you know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> like literally, these are the things I was thinking of, of at that time. But that means, definitely, that means something significant from the higher powers. 5D is going to happen in your life. And I would blow my socks off if, if like, I don't know, I've, I've only experienced this myself, but if, if let me know if it, if it, if three months later something fucked up happens, because I would be just very interested to know that. Uh, what do we got in the influencing this situation? Uh, uh, Queen of Wands and a King of Swords. Okay, so a fire sign and an air sign. Ooh, when fire and air get together, like, things can get really fucking hot, man. You ever blow on a fucking fireman and see what happens? <sighs> Shit just gets really, really hot. And sometimes it gets so hot it burns itself up, but if you time it properly, it just makes the fire that much hotter, right? So this could, I don't know who this pertains to in your life, but this could be uh, this could also be you. Sometimes you show up as a Queen of Wands, right? But I would say since the Queen of Cups is already out, but you know what's funny? How the Queen of Cups this is like right under the Queen of Cups, and the, and the Queen of Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups are literally like your fucking because um, you do have like Aries in your in your chart, like most of the time Pisces, like you do. So you could have like fire, you're like fire and water, which is a very fucking deadly combination. It's a weird combination, I'll get, like, uh, but that, that's what I mean, like a, a lot of people don't understand what you guys really bring to the table, so, but that's their loss, right? Uh, what do we got in the uh, heart of the situation, hopes and fears, hopes and fears? Mm -hmm. What do we got in hopes and fears? These two? Your hopes and fears is seven of swords, cheating, lying, and stealing. So you're fearing somebody might be cheating and lying and stealing. And you're fearing a tower. Don't fear the tower. Don't fear Dr. Death. Don't fear the Reaper. And let that fucker fall. If there is a tower, believe me, it's in your best interest. It's going to fall eventually. So. <laughs> what do we got in the... What do we got in the... Um, okay, still lie at the bottom here. So I'm just letting you know that too. Because sometimes it changes here on Tony Tower due to uh, not difficulties, due to um, just uh, what do you call it? Abnormal coincidence. Uh, abnormal incidents. <laughs> call it that. No, that's that. That one might fly. We'll see. Oh, oh, this one just flipped up. Reverse. So you're reversing the lens you're looking at this through is a reversed love offer. 
you've totally like given up on this or somebody else has totally given up on this but this is a reverse love offer or union there's no you're looking at it as you don't want a union to take place between somebody else or between you and somebody else it's up to you whichever one fits what do we got because there's many fucking Pisces out there it's not gonna resonate for all of you but the certain things are gonna resonate for all of you right There'll be at least one thing out of this reading that will, will, will fucking resonate with you. I can promise you that. What do we got in the, um, but, like, it could be a tiny, tiny fucking thing. Like, you could have a, you know what you're dealing with right now. <laughs> you know, there's a million contingencies, right? What do we got in the, um, I don't know the actual numbers on that, but I'm just guessing there's like a million. Uh, what do we got in the environment, environment, environment? Okay, two. A love offer. Okay, so you're getting rid of a love offer, and you've got another love offer in the environment. So this is a love offer you're trying to reverse, I'm taking it. And this love offer is, like, angel-guided. Like, look, you see right beside this, in this, this love offer, whatever it is, for whoever or whoever, this is, like, literally, like, um, divinely guided. Like, that's Archangel Michael. It's mixing up a mean batch of swish there to fucking blow your fucking hair back and grow hair on your pencil, okay? So, yeah, it's going to be a good one. And look, th that's a cup right there. I'm thinking that this this love offer was literally boiled up by the angels. So I wouldn't, that's the kind of love offer I wouldn't want to get in between Pisces. I'm just saying, if you're <laughs> trying to get in between this shit, you're going to have, you're going to have a lot of fucking, like, angry fucking angels, like, fucking literally attacking you at all fucking, like, sides, so I wouldn't fuck with that. The best thing to do is never fuck with love, even if, if you're jealous or whatever, just let, let, let nature take its course, man. What do we got in the outcome of this situation, uh, Pisces? Uh, I don't know. Or learn the hard way because literally, if, if if Archangel Michael's like mixing up that that's one of his creations, you don't want to be getting in the way of that. Then you, you think you got problems now, like whew, or whoever this is for. This could be a cross watcher energy I'm feeling right now too, right? Uh, okay, what do we got here? We got three. Bottom of the deck, we still got a lie. So there's a lie. The whole fucking underlying energy of this is there's a lie. There's a lie that is literally the underlying energy. This is all happening because of a lie. And we got five of wands here. So we got the, um, yeah, that's conflict. That's like, there's no hands touching that G-spot. There's just some crazy angry pussy. Look. See how there's hands in the G-spot one there and he's rotating the sugar plum on this one. There ain't no fucking happy pussy. Look at that pussy. That's an angry pussy, man. That's some angry ass pussy there. Wow, that one actually looks kind of like retarded. That looks like retarded pussy and this looks like fucking angry pussy. So, I don't know. I don't know what's really going on with this yet. This is the Lord of Valor, okay? So you came out, you came, you went through the ringer, you, you, you came over some obstacles, okay? And now you got some mad ass pussy at you. Some bitches are fucking angry at you. I'm taking this as like this is like this reminds me of a really mad ass pussy. Maybe you stole some something from them. Maybe you this is all over some fucking player energy or some shit like that. Uh, we got a um, Ace of Pentacles, uh, Lord of the Root of the Powers of the Earth. So this is something you can taste, touch, and feel. I hope it's not that rotten pussy there, but I'm just saying this is something you can taste, touch, and feel. And, um, I don't know. I'm the Lord of the Root of the Powers of the Earth. Okay, so, yeah, you're getting something I get from Spirit here, whatever it is. Maybe for dealing with this, this nasty-ass pussy here. Pussies here. Two of them, it looks like. Wow. These could be just, like, two, like, fucking males in their extreme feminine, like, side or whatever, that are just a little butt hurt, too. They, like, I don't know. It could be pussies either way, right? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say That's just the way I'm, I'm literally being guided to like fucking say it so like if it is males it could be pussies too right i don't know i'm just putting that out there <laughs> <Lord of Valor. laughs> my spirit why 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 okay <laughs> okay so we got lies um that's about it pisces so that's good though 
I think you're I think you're literally okay, you don't come out as the high priestess energy and if that is your energy like the high priestess, but it's separated by its eight of wands. So but if the high priestess and the empress are literally both your energy, then you're fucking like um I don't know, like fucking like you're the you, everybody should be looking up to you, okay Pisces? Bye, gotta go.